Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. And today I am talking about winter skincare because I don't know about you, but I am done with winter. <laughs> I'm officially at my max. Um, I noticed the other day that I have lots of peely, rolly skin. That's an awesome side effect from winter temperatures. And my skin has just been feeling a little bit more red and raw, especially around my nose from blowing my nose a lot. And my skin's just kind of going through it. So I just want to share with you a routine that I do to moisturize, comfort, relax, pamper my skin, and help offset some of those winter side effects, AKA flaky skin. So if you're so ready to follow me as I do this nighttime routine, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna pull my hair back and get this makeup off with a nice double cleanse. So we got a nice clean canvas. I just got these like bangs and I'm already like needing to pull them back. So I just got my little Velcro hair grips in and I'm going to start off with an oil cleanser. This is the Nacific Fresh Herb Origin Cleansing Oil Bacuchiel Edition. And every time I say Bacuchiel, I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. Um, but this is a really great light cleansing oil that helps to melt down makeup. It's so good at getting a tough mascara off of the face. And then I'm gonna follow it up with the Paula's Choice Ultra Gentle Cleanser. And I really like the Polish Choice Cleanser because it is moisturizing, but it's still kind of foamy and cleanses like a foam cleanser, but it's got that kind of moisturizing, gentle component to it that's definitely needed in the winter time. So now that everything is clean, I'm gonna go in, this is just a plain old cotton washcloth that is damp with warm water. And I am doing this incredibly gently. I am just running the surface of it very gently. I'm not pushing in but very gently across my skin. Because as I said, I do have some roly peely patches right around here. I noticed it when I was putting my makeup on earlier. And so this is just like a really gentle way to kind of help encourage some of that to just sort of lift off. Of course, I'm keeping current with my tretinoin and my azelaic acid, not tonight, um, but I am keeping current with my exfoliation and skin cell shedding ingredients. Those are definitely gonna do some of the heavy work here, but I have to keep things gentle so my skin doesn't go any drier than it already is. And this is just kind of a nice way to encourage those peely, rolly skin bits to go away. So this is the I'm From Honey Mask, which is a long time favorite of mine. So this is a very moisturizing mask. It's definitely what my skin needs right now. I really like this because the honey in here just super infuses with your skin. It just like melts in as it's sitting and it just really helps to comfort the skin, give it a base of moisture, which is definitely needed. And that's what helps to fight the dryness and the flakies and everything. So I definitely am craving this mask right now. So I'm probably putting on in like a really kind of crazy layer. Honestly, let me just... I'm all spread out, let me use my fingers now. I love the texture because this is, there's a high component of honey in here. You can kind of smell it too. It smells good, it's really luxurious. It's not actually sticky, like um, actual honey would be kind of sticky on your skin, um, but it has that nice kind of enveloping your skin type of feel that's awesome. Now, one of the like really cool elements of this mask, in my opinion, is that it doesn't really dry on your skin. You know how some wash off masks can dry down or they just sort of disappear off the skin? This actually stays moist and it really coats your skin the entire time, like up to an hour. I'm not gonna wear the mask for an hour because honestly, I just wanna like get into my pajamas and cuddle with my dog on the couch. So I'm not gonna spend an hour in this mask, but I'm still gonna spend like 10 minutes. Just give it a good amount of time to settle into my skin, give me that base of moisture so I can move on with the rest of my skincare routine. All right, I'm all back. I washed off the honey mask. My skin feels so good. There's just like a nice light amount of moisture that is making it feeling really resistant to dehydration right now. So I'm gonna go in for my toner next and I'm gonna be using something that combines hydration and a little bit of moisture all in one. This is the Round Lab Soybean Toner. So as you can see, this is actually very fluidy and runny. It's like very watery and thin, but there is a nice element of moisture to this, which feels really good because it just kind of like 
feels like that on the skin when it's feeling kind of dry and raw. And what I find unique about this for a moisturizing toner is that it is so light you can actually layer it up on the skin without it getting really thick. So that's why I'm actually using it as my primary toner because sometimes I'll use a like a thicker moisturizing toner after a lighter toner. I, um, I was gonna say I'm keeping things simple tonight. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> um, I've got masks and everything in here, but I'm just kind of like keeping things a little bit more lower key for me as far as choices and layering goes because this offers the hydration and the moisture that I need in one product. And I'm just going in for my third layer and this feels really, really great. Even after the honey mask, you know, you can still feel a little bit of the dryness around my nose, especially. And so this nice light moisture that I'm building up feels really great. So next up is the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence. Now this has been a long time winter staple for me. I'm so glad to have it back in my routine. And this is one of the most like luxurious and silky propolis uh, serums that I've ever tried. And I just love how this feels. And it's so appropriate for this routine. I mean, this is definitely a great compliment to the honey mask. Um, this definitely has that same kind of like silky, like luxurious, envelop your skin with moisture kind of feel, but in a serum texture. It's a medium gel, it feels really good. And I just like, I wish that like what I'm feeling in my skin, like you could experience right now because all of the like rawness around my nose is just starting to like ease away with this nice moisture that we're building up in this routine. So for eye cream, I just wanna keep things really gentle and moisturizing. I don't wanna go for any like retinal eye creams tonight because I have to say I've noticed some of the peelies up here. So I just wanna keep things really nice and gentle tonight. And this is an old favorite as well, the Pyeongkang Yul Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Cream. So I love this eye cream because it's moisturizing, but it's got this really great texture that's really lotion-y and just like absorbs in really nicely. Cause you know, sometimes like the richest, oiliest, butteriest eye creams just don't spread really well. They don't sink into the um, eye area really well. And just overall, they just don't feel great. You know, they may feel really moisturizing, but they're just kind of like blah in texture. This just has like a really nice, quickly absorbed, but moisturizing and comforting feel on the skin. So tonight I'm gonna be using one pump of Strati Liquid Gold and a couple drops of their Fortify Facial Oil as my like barrier care step. This is really crucial for me in the winter time. You know I, I do it all year round. Every single routine for the most part does include this step in it, but it's really, really important for winter weather. So I'm just doing like one more drop. There we go. The bottle's getting empty. So I've got three drops of the oil, and then just one pump of Strati Liquid Gold, trying not to make a mess here. And then I just mix it together on the back of my hand. This just keeps the layer lighter. Um, but as I was saying, it's really crucial in the winter time because the reason why I said I'm not really experiencing like extreme dehydration this winter is because of this step. This is keeping my moisture barrier really, really nice and strong. Not only is it adding a really nice, rich layer of moisture onto my skin too, like, hello, my skin is just like, thank you, moisture needed. Um, but it's also keeping my moisture barrier really strong with ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids, 4% of niacinamide in here. And then the oil blend is actually uh, really focused on the essential fatty acids that your moisture barrier needs. You get an extra kick with that particular oil, um, but it just feels so moisturizing, so good. And a big reason why my skin, you know, minus the peelies, because hey, peelies happen, flakes happen, right? But minus that, my skin's been doing uh, pretty well this winter. So next I'm gonna use a really small dab of the Avene Sea Calfate Cream around my nose because as I told you, um, that area, like from blowing my nose a bunch, it really has gotten quite raw and I noticed that a lot of the peely skin is concentrated right around that like butterfly area. So I'm just gonna give it a little extra healing and TLC with the Avene Cream. So this essentially has the texture of like a diaper rash cream. And in fact, if you want it to be rather fancy, I think you could actually use this like that. Because basically what this is, this does not contain um, centella. That's not what Sika is referring to in this cream, but it's actually a uh, healing 
um, a cream, a skin repairing cream. So if you have wounds on your skin, rashes, irritation, this just really helps to facilitate skin healing and strengthening. And what I love, you see I'm rubbing this in quite a bit, what I love is this ointmenty type of texture feels very, very protective. For being a thinner cream, it does actually pack a good amount of moisture and a lot of occlusivity. And so that's why I'm not putting it all over my face, although you certainly could. It really just, I'm putting an extra layer here. It really just, just took, that just took this area to the next level. <laughs> you know, when you have a little bit of height, like a little bit of irritation, you like start layering on your skincare and you're like, yeah, that felt good. Okay, that feels even better. That feels, and then it's like you get to this and you're like, yep, that was it. That's what my skin needed. So I'm just tapping it in and now I'm gonna do a full face of moisturizer. So this is the Estera Edo Barrier 365 Cream that I have been raving about for about a month now. Um, I really, really like this. It is so like melty on the skin. I think it just like feels really good, but it's actually not super duper heavy. This is definitely a medium weight cream. And if you've noticed, I've been building from like thinner textures, a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker, a little bit more moisturizing. That's definitely how you wanna layer skincare, but that seems to work really nicely for my skin because as dry as I'm feeling right now, I do still have my combination <laughs> skin. And I've been noticing even I'm getting a little bit of congestion um, in my T-zone, like on my forehead, and actually a little bit on the back of my cheeks. So I have to like, balance that fine line between really moisturizing and too moisturizing, unfortunately. And so this really fits the bill. And I love how this feels. There's little uh, ceramide capsules in here, just like that Ilium cream that I absolutely love. And it just has that really good quality of just kind of like sealing off your skincare. So next up, I am just going to apply the Cosrx Propolis Lip Sleeping Mask because my lips need a little bit of love too. I really like this one. I have the Ceramide Lip Sleeping Mask too. I have to say, I like the Propolis one a little bit better. You can see it's one of my favorite ingredients for winter time because we've used, uh, this is the second Propolis product that we use and then we use the I'm From Honey Mask, which isn't technically Propolis, but they're related, so give me that. <laughs> um, but some of my favorite ingredients, honey and Propolis to offer just the right amount of moisture that my skin is craving. So I'm waiting to see how my skin feels because I'm debating if I should put a sleeping pack on or not tonight. And that's really how you should approach your skincare routine too, especially if you like multiple products, hang back for a second and see how your skin feels. You may not need all the layers. You can make the right types of adjustments if you just like take a moment. So I'm just going to kind of let things settle and see how my skin feels if I'm craving a little extra goodness in my routine tonight or if this is enough. So while I do that, I want to talk about hand care because this is something that becomes way more important to me in the winter time than any other time of the year, I have to say, because I can get very, very dry, rough hands. So there's actually a few different ways you can just incorporate your regular skincare products into your hand care routine. And it's pretty much a similar approach too. you know, think about what you want to achieve. So retinol can be a nice ingredient to add into your hand care routine. And you don't have to like go out and get a retinol hand cream. You can just use like retinol that you would put on your face. Just be very restrained with the amount. So this is the Inky List Retinol Cream. And I use this on my hands a few nights a week. Uh, just make sure to really make sure it absorbs in and kind of let it dry on your hands before you are touching your face, just because some Sometimes you can transfer a little bit of it and it might cause some irritation. Another ingredient that I like, especially for hand care, is urea. You know, I talk about urea all the time because it's so great at breaking down the really rough patches on dry skin. And if your skin gets so dry to the point that it's actually really itchy, urea really helps to relieve the itch. So this is also from the Inky List. It's their 10% urea moisturizer. So we just use a little bit of it and I'm just concentrating it on the areas that are a bit more rough and flaky. So really working it into my cuticles, those get really rough. And then I am really focusing it here on my knuckles because when I'm working out, I actually, this is so weird, I have to plank on my fists. So I can't put my, my hands down because I have um, wrist injuries. So I plank on my fists to really stabilize my wrist. And it's actually, the skin is getting even rougher <laughs> there right now. So the urea actually helps to keep that really soft 
and break down that kind of like buildup of the rough skin. So it's super duper helpful, but also great for cuticles and nail beds too. Something else I like to do is add a couple drops of oil into my moisturizing cream or lotion because this really kind of like uh, oomphs up the moisture and it's also a really great treatment for your uh, cuticles and nail bed as well. And I honestly just use whatever extra skincare I have laying around. So this oil is from The Ordinary. It's their 100% borage oil. And I'm gonna mix that into a little bit of, ooh, the Illyune Aido Ceramide Concentrate Cream. So I have a lot of favorite creams that I like to use for my hands. But generally speaking, you don't really need a, a special or different moisturizer like that's exclusively for hands. And I do find that what I like on my face, because I'm so picky about moisturizers, what I like on my face is what I actually end up liking on my hands. And you may have kind of like a different situation on your hands than your face, but that's kind of like a nice rule of thumb. So I'm just putting a couple of drops, there we go, of the oil directly into the palm of my hand with the cream. And then it's really just as simple as mixing it up and getting it all over your, your hands. And I really focus this on my cuticles to soften them, to make them look nice and not flaky or raw or gross. <laughs> Um, and then that's just like a really nice deep moisturizing treatment. If your hands are really, really dry and flaky, I would suggest letting this settle in just a little bit and adding in some um, petroleum based like Vaseline, Aquaphor or CeraVe to really kind of slug on your hands and seal everything in. You may even want to use some like cotton gloves or something like that. This is about as far as I go. <laughs> I like to be kind of low maintenance and um, this seems to solve everything I need to solve it in um, in just a few couple steps. Okay, so I gave it a good amount of time to see how my skin felt and I honestly do think I would benefit from adding in a sleeping pack tonight. So I'm gonna go in for the Purito Dermite Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack. So I really like this sleeping pack for the texture because it has um, definitely like a lotion-y, creamy type of texture to it, but it's just formulated in the right way that it feels pretty good on top of an additional moisturizer. It's just that little extra something that I need. And the part of the reason that I picked this too is for its calming elements and skin barrier strengthening elements. It's got um, squalane and panthenol. There's centella in here, ceramide NP. I believe there's phytosphingosine in here, which is a great barrier um, strengthening ingredient as well. So this is just the right kind of weight and texture and feel and benefit really that I'm looking for from my sleeping pack today because just using like um, Aquaphor isn't gonna give me that soothing benefit that the Centella in the Purito is gonna bring. Ooh, I love the feeling right at the end of your skincare routine because your skin just feels so plump and pampered and satisfied. My skin feels amazing right now and so much better than when we started the video. So thanks for following me along on this calming and moisturizing nighttime routine with a little bit of hand care thrown in for good measure. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if if you did and you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting subscribe. I release a lot of new full length skincare videos and I do short, so turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me tonight. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe.